Tech Fits today I'm going to show you how to set up a small FileMaker Pro server. Um, that is a FileMaker Pro file running on a server, so a dedicated computer which is always on, which is able to be accessed by uh, computers uh, over the internet. So we're not talking a local area network, we're talking over the internet. So the first thing you need um, is you need separate licenses for a FileMaker Pro Advanced program which is running on your server computer um, and FileMaker Pro programs um, running on your client computers, i.e. your computers that are going to access your server over the internet. The second thing that is very useful is a static IP address on your modem router. Uh, other not a dynamic IP address which can change when you turn the modem on and off. Uh, this you can uh, get through your internet service provider. Okay down to the nitty gritty here's a FileMaker Pro file that I've got open. First thing you need to make sure of is that your sharing um, is on for this particular file. So go to sharing down to share with FileMaker clients. Um, here I've got it on but I'll turn it off, just demonstrate it and you can turn it back on again for this particular file um, and I've got here all users can use it. The next thing to do is find the IP address of this particular computer on your wireless network. Go to system preferences and to the network tab and you'll be able to see the particular IP address and it's the last number which is the important one, the point two. Uh, once you've done that, now let's go into the modem router and all modem routers will be different. Um, it's usually that IP address, uh, not point 0.2 but point 0.1 uh, will get you to your modem router and our particular one is a, a Netcom uh, router. All modems are a little different. Um, uh, what we're trying to do is port forward, i.e. put a hole through your router which goes straight to your FileMaker Pro program. Uh, to do that uh, on the netcom you go to advanced uh, NAT and here's my particular hole that I've created or my port forwarding of FileMaker Pro. It's always um, on five, the ports are always 5003. So here we go. Uh, we'll add a new one. Uh, it's not on one of the preset uh, programs so we have to go uh, uh, make our own custom service. So put in here FileMaker Pro um, and then uh, we put on the computer where the FileMaker Pro file is running and remember that's uh, 1.2 so if you go back to the network uh, tab here 1.2 okay you put that in and the particular ports are 5003 the exit and entry ports uh, it's a TCP on FileMaker Pro but I'll just put TCP UDP that's the way data is transmitted uh, and there you go it's added uh, so we now have our port or our hole through the router which goes to our FileMaker Pro uh, file and therefore can be accessed. Here's a cute pictorial of um, how all those things come together. Okay, the next thing is you've got to find the IP address of your particular modem. I don't mean the IP address uh, that you find the modem from your computers within the local area network. I mean the IP address of your modem when accessed via the internet. Uh, so here we are, we're going into not the Netcom modem but an another one and the way we find it on this uh, Thompson modem is to go down to the broadband connection here, go to press internet um, and you can see the IP address uh, third from the bottom there of the particular modem uh, accessed from the internet. Obviously if you have a different modem you'll just have to go into your modem and uh, try and find it. It'll always be there uh, under one of the tabs. Okay now we've set up the server. Let's go to the client uh, computer. So this is a client computer going to the FileMaker Pro program uh, and we want to find it. Now it's not a local host, that means a local area net network. We can do it through a favorite host and so through the internet. Um, now you've got to add the IP address of the modem which you just found out in the previous step so you just put it here and we'll just click it in. Uh, I've kept it hidden for my own security um, and then we go to next okay and there oh, pops um, the program so we'll double click that and here we go uh, the particular server that a Victor file is now being opened over the internet from your client program uh, to the file uh, which is on the um, on your server. So that's how you set up 
a small FileMaker Pro server. Three, two, one, one.